Hi guys, welcome back and if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for tuning in. Well, I'm back on the shore doing a bit of sea fishing and I'm actually using the float. It seems like an eternity since I was last on the shore, in fact it was last November I think when I was at the last had a, a shore fishing session. Anyway, I just finished work and my work's literally a hundred yards that way and I thought I'd take advantage of where I work, which is right next to a sea loch, and I thought I'd do a bit of float fishing. Anyway, the setup I'm using is quite simple. I've got a seven and a half foot spinning rod with a 3000 size reel loaded with 20 pound braid and simple float rig. Attached to a weight, a locked in ball lead and the first time I've actually used a circle hook first time I've used a circle hook for sea trout fishing and I've already had one, it's proved really effective and hopefully I'll, I'll show you that on camera anyway what I'll do is with the float rig that I'm using which is an anti-tangle float rig which I use for all my sea fishing when using the float I'll, uh, I'll put that in a link right at the end of the video so that you can have a look at that if you want to. If you are new to the channel guys and you want to see more fishing videos that I do and you like the content then please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's see if we can get a fish. Let's get cast out guys. Fish on guys. sea trout get a picture of that hey guys first little sea trout of the season just a little guy probably about three quarters of a pound Maybe not even at half a pound, but first fish of the year in fact. We get this guy back.
amount of water where I'm casting is only about six at the most. I've had a couple of takes and I probably just struck too early and especially we're using the circle hook obviously you've got to make sure that the circle hook's properly in when you strike but when I fish with sea trout when I fish for sea trout before and I've been using maybe a size 4 or 6 something like a chinu, something like that Inherently, the sea trout get deep hooked, so I've reverted to circle hooks as I've started using circle hooks more often, even for fishing for flatfish, I've found that very rarely get deep hooked, in fact I've never been deep hooked. circle and I thought it'd be a, a bit big but it's actually worked so I'm quite happy with that and these sea trout that I've caught they are quite small you know that one was only about three quarters of a pound maybe if I'm lucky and it was hooked perfectly in the scissors See if we can catch another one. Let's fish on, guys. Took the float away.
Right guys, that's the end of my session. Uh, it was a short session after work. Thought I'd give it a try and it paid off. A couple of little small sea trout on the float rig. As I said, I'll put a link to how I, how I make my float rig at the end of the video and you can have a look at that if you want to see that. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you did give a thumbs up and if you want to see more and you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time on Piscator UK. Thanks very much for watching guys.